Welcome to Indie Shots, and first we are starting off with our first indie playthrough, Universe for Sale Prologue. So let's get going. Lila, brush your teeth, it's bedtime. Like the little dialogue box. Oh, interesting animation. Mummy! Okay. What is it? Didn't I just tell you it's time to sleep? It's always time to sleep. Not without a story. Listen to you, the little rascal. Mm. Take it easy. Again with this dusty old book. Will you ever get tired of it? Never. Please, just one more time. This is kind of sweet. I like the art style. That's creepy. In a time before time, there was a boy without a name. He had neither mother nor father. He knew neither shape nor frame. The wind does not know his birthplace. The day the mountains have forgotten. First born alone, unbegotten. Before you were my quiet listener, before myself, recounting the story. Before mother, father, and grandfather, before memory, sorrow, and glory. Are we just doing poetry? <laughs> Let's absolutely doing poetry for the next, like, half an hour. <laughs> Before verses that twist and turn and let us sent across the far earth, before heroes whose legends would burn and gatherings around the night earth. When everything was unordered but together in a single spot, with the sky above still folded, maybe upright or maybe not, in a time when the ground didn't know where to lie, when the seas over sound hadn't flowed rising high the seed of time still unplanted had yet to grow fast neither fate had been written nor known was the past what is said what is known is that the child was alone in the abyss of darkness unsown Holy crap. This is amazing. What the hell? Oh, okay. I'll tell you. Okay. So I can use A and D. But 
it was kind of like a point and click adventure. Okay. I mean, this is different. I'm digging this. Okay, okay, okay. Enon Tea House. I'm a skeleton. Bad weather, eh? One can't even see a thing out there. Seen worse. <laughs> At least, nothing I can't handle, but it looks like your place is the only one that's open. You're a tough one, eh? With this acid rain, few willing to leaving their homes. Damned shields. If only they should work as they should. Lucky we get the usual clients. Otherwise, I'd have closed this place many years ago. Is this rain so dangerous? For the Hayek's sake, you're not from Jupiter, are you? I admit that I'm not from around here. Well, since you asked, the rain is liquid hydrogen. Highly corrosive, highly flammable. Not by chance, our colony is protected by curtains woven with demantarium. Those big orange tarpaulins wrapped around the buildings? Precisely. When the shields are out of order, it's the curtains that save our asses. What's wrong with the shields? Been years since the shields have started to fail. Turbulence makes them obsolete. Every damn time we get a bad storm, all the shit from the atmosphere rains down on us. Isn't there anyone that can fix them? Everyone here minds their own business. Many pretend the problem doesn't exist, or that it will always... Or that... It always was what you see, a shitty pile of scraps. <laughs> Does the colony have many technical issues? For the highest sake, couldn't get much worse than this. It's been centuries since the colony has ceased being self-sufficient. Bartering is the only reason it hasn't collapsed yet. Bartering? Precisely, the old Jovian mining colony has become one of the most picturesque and infamous holes of the solar system. Have a tour once the storm abates. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You must be freezing. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, if you don't mind me saying I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of a hurry, may I ask, did you happen to see a girl around here? A girl? Wait, wouldn't you be Leela's friend? Um, yes, Leela's friend. Then you have a booking here. That girl, she never told me who would be coming with her. She just calls me out of the blue, asking to keep a table for her, and I say, Aye, who else is coming? And she behaves as her usual self. Enon, if you don't mind your own business, I'll burn that shack of yours to the ground. Hem, <laughs> I think I've been speaking long enough. Lovely girl, anyhow. It appears to be the case, indeed. <laughs> anyway, I'm Enon, the owner and the sole employee of Enon's Tea House. We have teas and infusions of all kinds that was peculiar available here in the colony. And all of them are prepared by yours truly. Here, have a menu with our fan favourites. Hula berries, koala leaves, or shower sap. Uh, I don't know, see it's how it occurs. It's contrast with sweet and very uh, deep green tea with a tangy aftertaste, turning sweet a couple of seconds after addition. It's very relaxing. I would take that one. Child Sap, great choice. Well, Leela isn't here yet. You can wait for her at your table in the middle of the room. Thank you. I can take a look around while I'm waiting for Lila. Oh, Lila. Lila?
Hey, interested in a cat? Uh, no thanks. Good, because I wouldn't let you have it over my dead body. These are not normal cats, you dumb dumb. These are Loma Lomery. They only live on Jupiter. I travelled here from Sarah, so only for them. I'm a breeder, you know. I'm, I own 85 at the moment. 85 cats. 85 cats. I was just now asking Bando whether he was available to reach a small nest when here nest they've established behind one of the windmills. You got the credits? 50 for each specimen, my friend. Seven shoe. Let's make it 60. Six shoe five. Okay, okay, deal. So down the stingy these Rangos. I should have made deals with you, Billy. Oh, okay. Why is cats everywhere? Yeah, okay. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Oh, forgive me, I was calibrating the comm drivers. You sign out your service, I work at the hydroponic plant. My friend here is Tino. Nice to meet you. Excuse him, he's unable to speak right now. We're sharing our vocal processor until we can find another for cheap. Today's Wednesday and it's my turn. Very practical. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. They're just taking turns. You speak today, I speak tomorrow. Ah, another cultist, I see. Priest. Look at yourself, son. What has your belief bought you? You're more bones than flesh. And you still call yourself a man? Anyways, I've just come to the right time. I was tempted to bring the soul of this young woman under the protection of the Pantheon. Would you like to join and listen? It's very entertaining. He was just telling me that they have a specific goal for everything. For instance, there's one that is in charge of making people go to the bathroom. Car something. Carnus, the god of the bodily sphere. The one you insult every day with your profane cuts. <laughs> Please, no need to lose our call. We have our own gods too, you know. No one knows what their names are, or exactly how many there are. They're on the other side of the Satori, and the only land can name them. There's nothing of the sort. A man who wants to reach what you call enlightenment, it's just a fool who will provoke the wrath of the gods. Whatever you say, everyone is entitled to their own beliefs, after all. How have I just been doing that? You smell foreigner. I come from very far away. Scrunch, my name is Bandar. I help the fat human Balahindon in chores that need strength. If you need me, you can find me here for the right compensation, of course. Oh, keep that in mind. I've never seen an ape like yourself. Welcome to Jupiter, Bob Bali. Orange storms like manes of cyber oringos. Just what human Bali says, always asking for your help. The lazies. Yano yeah, started as some kind of slavery. Tis what they thought. Thought us stupid, easy to control, but chips made us more intelligent than they. Why didn't you gain the upper hand then? Why? To us, heaving 400 kilos is the same as four when human ballet pay us to do that. We happy? I understand. Well, making money, right? I guess. Oh, never initiated. Nice to meet your acquaintance. I'm Khan. My pleasure. Imagine you have left your name behind. Being a master is an easy guess, given the sheer number of separations you have. I see that your ears are still in their original place. I recall my own master suggesting me to start exactly from those for the detachment. I couldn't sleep at night, even with the best sleeping pills I could get my hands on. Then I put myself in the hands of the cult. They made me understand that my past was like a wall separating me from my pillow. I had to accept that in order to sleep again. Then away with the ears. I've never slept better than since the procedure. You, however, have been able to have any problems with the past. I actually do have some, but I accept them willingly. Good for you. Good for me. Good for me. 
Are you ready to redeem yourself, Master? No. Now I can sit down. Heck, if I like it. Heck of a lightning. That's up the curtains. Hold up, I wouldn't want to build the place on the ground up all over again. Just out of curiosity. You are in the cult, aren't you? Cousin of mine was into that kind of thing. She attached her own head and feet. She told me it was to reach enlightenment. You must be crazy to attach all those body parts. If aliens existed, they would probably look just like you. Forgive me, it mean no offense. I'm actually happy to talk about it. Good. Here at the Union Tea House, everyone and I repeat, everyone is welcome to make themselves at home. Anyhow, here it is, Infusion of Chow. Whoa, what a boom. Returning to what we were saying before, my cousin used to say that without her head, she could think more clearly. Is that true? It's one way to see it, uh, I guess. And you and Lila, how did you two meet? Hang hey, you know, on, stop nosing around. Hello to you too, Lila. Teacup is ready. I see no kind as usual. She got tentacle hair? Excuse me, I think that guy got this place just to snoop around in people's personal stuff. Always a pleasure. He always has to have the final say. Don't worry, I'll find him likable. You appear surprised. Did you think I wouldn't show up? It's just that I'm happy we can finally meet. You're too easily pleased. Fact is, around here every day is exactly like that one that came before. Trust me, when I say that sometimes blessing to meet a foreigner, I'm on beside the usual market clientele, and he on clearly. Well, I don't think you can compare us nightlife to Jupiter's, but they say that Jupiter's markets are a continuous flow of humanity. People from all around the system find themselves here. It's supposed to be exciting. Yeah, can't really disagree on that. Maybe I've just lost that something. That helped me see the novelty of humanity. Anyhow, you like the chow? Yeah, I used to drink it quite often. The chow is the only tree that actually hails from Jupiter in a way. I think it derives from a Terran olive tree or something similar. You can easily see it growing in the most unexpected places, but it's quite difficult to recognize. All bark and no leaves. I honestly have no idea how it survives. From the pest bark, one can extract the lymph to make the herbal tea. Damn, Hinon, as an idiot that he has forgot to turn on the candle. Inside the tea was a piece of bark kept it at a boil. The lymph from the bark quickly clots and the temperature is allowed to drop. The entire content of the pot would become a single piece of gelatin. After a couple of days, the pot itself would become a small, barky sapling. It's a nervous plant, but a very relaxing to Sane. The heat of fire melts nervousness away. Yeah, I guess so. Ten, thirteen, sixteen. What are you counting? Nothing, I was just counting the seconds that separate the lightning from the thunder. The speed of sound is about 300 meters a second. All this considered, the eye of the storm will be around 5 kilometers from where we are now. Two temporarily distant phenomena, but with a single origin. I know it's stupid, but noticing it makes the relati relativity of time seem more tangible. It's the kind of stuff I like sometimes. I feel like people don't really get what I'm saying. You, for instance. Why are you interested in my work? 
What's the reason? Uh, bizarre, there are several things and trinkets that are much more useful or interesting. My stuff is useless and get very hard to get. Can I understand it? What's all these questions? In general, I tend to like stories, and yours looks intriguing. And do you think that's positive? The infusion must be complete by now. Allow me. Thanks. Forgive me, sometimes I'm a bit peevish, you know? Last time I saw you, you came across as quite confused, but I don't doubt your intelligence. Your, your face tells me you've seen many things in your life. Yeah, I've witnessed many things, but I'm always curious for a new story, even yours. Not that easy. I'll try my best to understand. It's okay. As I told you in Bazaar, I make small universes. Universes? I extrapolate them using ordinary matter as a building material. It's simpler if I use liquids like the tea in this cup. I can shape them, giving them any form I wish. The shape changes the physical rules of each universe, from how much time develops to how much time passes from the Big Bang to thermal death. The form that I find particularly interesting is the circle. So this is a type of universe essentially like ours. Like ours? With stars, planets, and the like? Yes, of course, but I'm actually referring to time. You see, where it starts is also the point where it ends, only to start again. In cosmological theory, it's called the Big Bounce. Great and bloody universes now. It's incredible. The material instead determines the fundamental qualities of each universe. If you use shall I limp, you would obtain a universe similar to ours. A universe that can be thought of as modest. Life is rare, but on the planets where it spontaneously arises, it's like root, like moss on a stone wall. Lila, if what you're saying is true, you create new realities with life, maybe even people. Not create anything. The universe is already there somehow. I just made them visible. But obviously, they're not exactly as you see them here. This is just a relative relativistic representation but it's here right in front of our eyes like that you're like a goddess you don't understand i understand completely i think you're you're under us i am not a god two seconds the storm is almost here it is Lila, I must go now. What? Sorry, I really mean it. I will get in touch soon, I promise. But, is it because I got all nervous? Forgive me, I told you it's complicated. No, no, believe me. I have something to do. I can't put it off. Lila, I want to know more about your universes. Okay, but I will show up again. Can you at least wait until it stops raining? I want to, but can't. Enjoy your evening, Lila. Good night. Ah, zero seconds. Signal loss. Holy, he got away again. 
We must find them or else Uncle will kill us. Interesting. Fascinating. <laughs> 